My name is Samad Tolukbay. I'm a journalist, researcher, and descendant of great nomads. My ancestors had wandered through these steppes for centuries, followed their herds in search of the best pastures. The cattle was always their main capital. What are they now? The descendants of the great cattle breeders. The school of nomads studying the past, creating present in order to build the future. In today's program, you will watch Camel Breeding, the oldest occupation of nomads, Balkaimak, a dessert from camel milk, the healing properties of camel milk. The one who has a camel is rich, people say. Indeed, since ancient times, this animal used to be a helper for people while moving from one place to another. In addition, it gave people milk and meat and wool. But what other qualities does this animal have? Today I will find out what products can be obtained from camel milk. Camels are perfectly adapted to the semi-desert climate. So in the steppes of Kazakhstan, it is profitable to breed them. And today, I went to the town of Akshe, which is located in the Almaty region. Here you can find the camel's farm owned by Otimis Makanov. Hello, how are you? Hello, son. My name is Samat. I am studying our traditional Kazakh cattle breeding. Today I would like to learn about camel breeding and about what products are obtained from camel milk, except the Shabbat, Qumran. Therefore, I came to you to learn all this and help with the housework. Will you accept me as a camel breeder? Welcome to our farm, son. You've come a long way. First, quench your thirst, rest a bit from the road, and after that, I'll teach you everything. I will show you what you can do with the camel milk. A wonderful proposal. Just wanted to drink. Try Qumran. How delicious! Now I can start work. Where do we start? First, we start with the milking of the camels. Next, I'll show you how to feed, how to care for animals. Great! Then let's start. Yes, son, let's go. Fine. Otimis Makanov has over 200 camels. Growing up in the family of cattle breeders, he knows all the secrets of the breeding. Today he breeds horses, camels and produces traditional dairy drinks such as kumis and shabbat. Of course, for the Kazakhs a horse plays an important role, but for Otimis Makanov there is nothing better than camels. Kazakhs considered the camel as the most important animal of the four kinds of domestic animals. The camel has its patron too, Oysil Kara. He protected and increased the numbers of herds. Humans never use physical force against camels. A camel is considered a sacred animal. It cannot eat for months, can get along for a long time without food. It is able to wander and not drink for 40 days. Therefore, they are called Oysel. Oysel has a deep meaning, like hardy, patient. A camel is a strong, hardy and at the same time obedient animal. Most often it is kept in pastures, where a camel gets its own food. The basis of the diet is dry, often prickly desert vegetation which is unacceptable for other animals. Camels can get along 
without water for a long time. The hump on the back contains fat reserves, which the camel's body gradually uses to get energy. I heard that the workers of the uranium mines were fed camel meat and milk, and their clothes were also made of camel hair. Those people were then taken for observation in Moscow. It turned out that the workers were able to avoid exposure. It is due to the power that camel wool has. It takes a special place among the Kazakhs, especially for nomadic people. And we are descendants of those nomads. And for us, this animal is sacred. In Kazakhstan, single humped and two humped camels are bred. One humped camel is called a nar. Kazakhs call the female nar Maya or Aruana, and the male is called Ulek. The one humped camels are well adapted to the hot climate, but they do not tolerate frosts unlike the Bactrian. This species of camels is well adapted to live in sharply continental dry climate with hot, dry summers and very frosty, snowy winters. The camel lives on average 30 to 35 years. During this time, up to 100 kilograms of fat is collected in the humps. A good camel per day is able to give up to 10 liters of milk, while the milking season lasts 15 to 16 months. So the whole process will take place here. I was told that you milk the camel four times per day. Yes, four times. Since the colding was done recently, and the young camels are still small and they need milk. Tell us about the process, especially I am interested in milking of camels. Physiologically, the female camel has an udder like a cow. In the process of milking, as a rule, two milkmaids work on both sides. But if we let the young camel go from one side, on the other side hand milking takes place. In a month, milking begins, and then two milkmaids will join us. Is it necessary to let the young camel come closer? Yeah. The young camel has to help with the milking process. The udder has 62 milk ducts, and only after the young camel sucks, milk will go. So without, it does not work. What is a one-time milking? Differently. There is litter or two. There are camels who give 10 liters a day, and at a time, for 3 to 4 liters of milk. Let's get started. That camel's name is Rita. Now we'll let its young camel go too. You try to milk. Does everyone have a nickname here? It's a rule. We have 80 female camels to be milked, and everyone has names. I know all of them by names. Now it is Rita's turn. First they make the young camel come closer to it. While it is eating, the milking process is going on. Are you going to milk? Let me first see how the milkmaids do it. Then I will try myself. Don't be afraid, they're very calm. Here, every camel has a name, to which it instantly responds. It is only necessary to call. Farmer Otimus gives them the names of the heroes of popular TV shows. I think there is nothing wrong with that. After all, we also call our children, comparing them with these animals. For example, Botogos is a camel's eye, or Agbata is a white camel. Really, animals are calm, so milking is not a difficult thing to do for me. Moreover, on our project, I already milked cows, mares, and camels, so I can say I'm experienced. Look, I milked two liters of milk. It is the next camel's turn. Not such a difficult job. I'll try to fill the bucket.
camel's milk was one of the main products in the nomad's ration. It is a pure source of useful nutrients, vitamins, animal proteins and fats, which have a general strengthening effect on the human immune system. This milk is hypoallergenic. In addition, it does not cause sensitivity in people suffering from lactose intolerance and also contains a large amount of immunoglobulin. After milking, we must feed young camels. Now we'll give them bran. Very small camels are not going to pasture, and therefore they're fed with hay and various forages on the farm to grow healthy. I filled the feeder, but young camels don't have an appetite probably because they are already full of mother's milk. Let them get hungry a little. And now I'll unload hay for them. Sow the hay in the feeder. Now you should bring the camels to the yard, and they seem to be looking forward to themselves and look out. Well, come on, come out, eat it. Come on, let's enjoy. If they ate the bran hardly ever, but the hay is eaten with great appetite. Maybe it's time to drive them out to pasture, I thought. But anyway, I'm glad that my young camels eat with pleasure. By the way, newborn babies need special care, since they cannot even stand on their feet for the first few days. Therefore, the farmers give them special care. Sometimes even they are fed from bottles. Well, these have grown up and are able to feed themselves. It is enough to throw hay to them. So I fed young camels. Now I'm going to bring milk to aunts and they will make lots of sweets. <laughs> Greetings. How do you do, son? How are you? Thank you. We're all fine. I brought milk for you. I know a Shabbat is made from milk. From camel's milk you can prepare lots of things. Curd, cheese, balkaimak. Really? I didn't know about that. Yes, we make lots of things. What are you doing right now? I'm making balkaimak from camel's milk. What is this? On slow fire, we stew milk until it turns thick. When it gets a cream color, the balkaimak will be ready. So you are just boiling milk? Yes, for a long time and on a slow fire. See, the mass changes color. Will you wait until it gets the cream color? Yeah, still getting ready. And you have to constantly stir? Yes, of course. Let me help you. In order to prepare the right balkaimak, you need to monitor the fire. It should not be strongly inflamed. It is enough that our milk will be stewed slowly. As my grandmothers explained, our goal is to evaporate all the liquid, so that only thick cream remains in the pot. Actually, there is nothing complicated. Only you should be patient since we will boil milk for almost two hours.
so the fire is under control. Thank you, son. Can I stir it too? Of course. It turns out I should continue stirring. Yes, just stir up. Then it won't burn out. But it still burn. And where did you learn to do Balkaimak? I was taught by my parents. Kazakhs from ancient times treat themselves with such dishes. Did your parents graze camels? Yes, they did. So you have grown up seeing camels? Yes, from a young age. If you don't want the milk boiled over, we should stir it afterwards. Now we're preparing a balkaimak according to an old recipe. That is absolutely without any additives. But in the modern Kazakh cuisine, you can add various ingredients to the dessert. Some housewives, for example, for greater nutrition, add egg or flour to the mass. It is also possible to add to the balkaimak a small amount of sugar. But according to grandmothers, balkaimak from whole milk turns out to be too sweet. So I'll try it. Look, our balkaimak has got a creamy color, so it's ready. Yes, you can try. Straight from the pot? Of course. Excellent. I cooked, I myself will taste. Wow, really what a sweet. Super. Now we can put it on the plate and serve it to the table. Oh sure. Great. According to the grandmothers, with the help of Balkaimak, even a sick stomach was treated in the village. To do this, camel's milk was boiled for about half an hour. After they added honey, a little butter and red pepper. Then continued to cook until it completely turned thick. They say that if person eats a Balkaimak twice a day with a tablespoon, you can cure a sick stomach. I just learned to do Balkaimak. Now I've come to you. What are you doing? And I'm making a curd from a Shabbat. Is this a real dried curd? Yes, we make from a fermented Shabbat. And how do you do it? I pour it into the pot and I boil it. Boiling the Shabbat is divided into sour cream and buttermilk. Dense mass is poured into a special bag and hanged. It is necessary that all the liquid go away. And then you get such a thick mass. We add salt and make a curd. And from cow's milk people make a curd as well. Yes, the way is the same. Let me help you. I can sculpt it. But for the first time I see a curd from camel milk. It turns out you can prepare lots of things. Oh sure. Curd is one of the traditional products that the nomads made. It is nothing but dried salted curd. It is made from cow, sheep, goat's milk and even here camel milk. The technology of the process is the same in all cases. However, the curd from camel milk is considered the most nutritious. According to scientists, dried cottage cheese is more nutritious. So we finished making curd. And then what needs to be done? Now it must dry. And how do you dry it? It's easy. We'll put it on the grater and leave it in the wind. Dry by the wind. And is that all? Yes, it's simple. You do not have to do anything else. Then I'll put our curd here. In order for the curd to dry properly, it should be periodically turned over. The finished product has a salty taste and white color. By the way, there is a belief that you shouldn't eat half-dried curd, otherwise wait for rain. I do not know what connection is, but I will not be able to try this curd, let it dry. For many years of camel breeding, 
Otimus learned many useful properties of camel milk. That is why he even built a small house on the farm for those who want to be treated with this drink. Healing properties of camel's milk are also confirmed by scientists. It has a beneficial effect in the treatment of liver and gastric diseases, also strengthens immunity. The well-known medieval doctor Avicenna wrote that all substances useful to the human body are kept in desert plants. And a camel, as you know, eats just such vegetation. Hello. Hi. Today I'm here to help with housework. I've milked myself. Drink it to your health. Thank you. Let's fill out. Tell me why do you drink milk? I am being treated with this milk. I felt sick a year ago. I went to the hospital, took tests. My condition was bad. I suffered from insomnia at night. MRI showed that I have a formation under the liver. Doctors recommended chemotherapy. I refused. Then my children heard about this place. And now I decided to try. And before the illness, did you try the Shabbat? Of course. And now, is there any change? Yes. I felt a creative effect. Formation has decreased. In the analysis, the erythrocyte sedimentation rate decreased slightly. Began to feel good. In the old days, healers knowing about the healing properties of camel's milk used it in the treatment of various ailments. This taste of a brackish drink contains three times more vitamin C and ten times more iron than cow's milk. It has less fat and cholesterol. It is a good source of protein and unsaturated fatty acids. I heard from the nurses here that when you arrived here, your hair was completely gray. And after treatment darkened, is it true? Yes. I was here for a month. And when I returned home, the son was surprised. Because on the back of his neck, his hair turned dark. Yes, it is noticeable. It turns out that milk is healing. Of course, it's hard to believe in such things. But listening to these people, I would like to wish them that they would soon cope with their ailments. Otimisata, today from morning till night, I was with you. I learned a lot. I got to know closer the sacred camel for the Kazakhs. Also learned that its milk treats set of diseases. I wish you only prosperity in your work. Be healthy. I have a lot to learn from you. I'll come to you more. Yes, you saw everything yourself. You learned something. How to milk and how to care for camels. I wish you only good luck. Thank you so much. I'll come to you again. All the best. Bye. Have a good trip. Returning from the farm, I saw a herd of camels. They went to grazing. Indeed, these animals are amazing creatures. Unhurried, graceful and strong. In my childhood, my grandmother told me that I would grow strong as a one-humped camel. Probably because she wanted to see me powerful and useful to my people, just like these amazing creatures. <laughs>